Hi guys, welcome you all to my YouTube channel Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I'm going to talk about difference between positive testing and negative testing. In this video, I'm not going to talk mainly about what exactly is positive testing and what exactly is negative testing, but I'm going to talk about the difference between them. What exactly is positive testing and what exactly is negative testing? I have spoken in most of my videos that is my component testing video, integration testing video, my ad hoc testing video, my system testing video. In most of the videos I have spoke about positive and negative testing. So in this video I'm just going to talk about what exactly is the difference between these two topics since many people requested me to make this video. So I am finally making this for you. So let's get started. Talking about positive testing is performed for expected conditions or as per the requirement. When talking about negative testing, it is performed for unexpected conditions or it is not performed as per the requirement. See guys, whenever you write test cases for any application, when you say that your application have 100% test coverage, it means that it have both positive test cases and it, it also have negative test cases. A 100% test case coverage can be achieved if test engineers write both positive and negative test cases. So, with just if you write positive test cases, it is hard to achieve 100% test case coverage. When you are adding your negative test cases with your positive test cases, it is possible to achieve 100% test case coverage. Your positive testing does not ensure 100% defect free software. Your negative testing can ensure 100% defect free software. Since you are doing both positive testing and negative testing, after doing negative testing, you can say that we have achieved defect free software. Now our software will not have any defect in that. So only after doing negative testing, which is done after your positive testing, you can say that you have achieved 100% defect free software. As I said you, your positive testing should be done before negative testing. Your negative testing should be done post positive testing. Since whenever you test any application, whenever I give software to anyone to test it, basically they will test the software as per the requirement and it should be done. It testing should be done as per the requirement first before going to the unexpected conditions or testing which is not as per the requirement. Whenever you are testing any application, first you have to test the application as per the requirement because customers are going to use a software which is according to the requirement. I mean, not all customers will use the application randomly or in an ad hoc based. So whenever anyone will test the application, they will first test the application as per the requirement. So anyone, any software testers, they will first do positive testing. And once after your positive testing is done, they will do your negative testing. Because as a test engineer, first you have to make sure that your software is capable of working at least as per the requirement. Now whether it is working perfectly for unwanted scenarios or ad hoc scenarios or which is not as per the requirement, that can be confirmed later. But first thing that test engineer should test it, that it should be capable of working as per the requirement or not. Your positive testing can be performed by anyone, any tester I mean, who is having irrespective of any year of experience. Because positive testing is something which you need to do it as per the requirement. You are having a requirement, you are having an application, you need to just test the application as per the requirement below. So your positive testing can be performed by anyone, any tester, irrespective of any year of experience he is having. But to do negative testing, he needs to be professional. He need to have more year of experience to do negative testing. Because to do negative testing, this can be possible by analytical thinking of individual test engineers. So it requires skills which can be done if you are experienced. And to do positive testing, it takes less time. To do negative testing, it requires more time since you have to think the ad hoc scenarios, you need to think of negative scenarios, you need to come up with the scenarios and you need to think it, you need to do execution and finally the output. So to do positive testing, it requires less time. To do negative testing, it requires more time. Your positive testing does not ensure the good quality product. Since you are just testing the application, which is as per the requirement, your negative testing ensures the good quality product. When I say product, I mean software. Because 
in negative testing you are not only testing the functionality of an application as per the requirement which is already done in negative testing you are testing the application which is not as per the requirement so your positive testing does not ensure a good quality product when I say product I mean software but your negative testing ensures a good quality product I mean software your positive testing checks for valid set of values your negative testing checks for invalid set of values so example I'm telling you if the requirement says that any text field can accept any value between 0 to 10 if you are testing any values within 0 and 10 you are entering 6 you are entering 7 you are entering 8 and checking whether it is accepted or not this is called as positive testing for the same text field if you are trying to enter alphabetical characters spaces blank combination of alpha numeric value special characters that is called as your negative testing always remember your negative testing is also called as ad hoc testing monkey testing and gorilla testing anyone can ask you in an interview make sure that you answer this so in case you like this video please give a big thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing ymkt and please share this video with your needy friends have any doubt have any kind of doubt list out all your doubts in the comment section want to reach to me out i have added my core account twitter account gmail account instagram account telegram account in the link description please check it out thank you